Hey guys, welcome to Chantel's Homeschool. If you're new, I'm Chantel and I homeschool five kids ages 17, 15, 13, 9, and 5. Um, and I just wanted to go through and share with you what we're using for our homeschool. It's been a little while since I've done a video, so I'm excited to share what we decided to go ahead and use this year. So first off, I don't really homeschool my oldest. Um, he is taking community college classes, and so I don't do a lot with him. So I'm going to show you my 10th grader, my 15-year-old, um, the things that he's using because I do more with him than with my oldest currently. So um, my oldest, my oldest that I'm homeschooling, he's 15, he's 10th grade. And this start of the year, we started out um, using a few different things. And finally, I think we've kind of finalized what we're using. I'm excited to share that with you. For all of my kids for their math, we use Saxon math. We use algebra for my older kids. Um, I really like it. I feel like it's easy for parents to use. Um, something that is really nice is when you're doing the problems, I'll do a close-up video of this, but it shows you what lesson. So if they're doing problem 23, you can see below that they learned that in lesson 47. And so it makes it easy for you to go and see, um, you know, where, where we need to practice if he gets that lesson wrong. So Saxon math and the older levels also comes with a solutions manual and a test booklet. Um, and this has their tests in it. So he's doing that. We've been doing that for a few years. We also use it with uh, my math assistant, which works really well uh, for my kids. In fact, I am loving it a lot. And if you look in my description box, I'll have a link below so you can get a little bit off if you decide to use it. But the thing that I like about it is that it um, they can type in their answers for the for the um, math and it automatically grades it. It has videos. And something that I'm just learning to use is I can go back and look at their history of doing lessons and I can see if they have a concept mastery. So let's say in lesson five, they go over um, exponents and I can see that now they're in lesson, let's say 70, and I can see if they have mastered that lesson from lesson five. And it'll tell me what percentage that is. Like the concepts taught from lesson five are 60%. The concepts taught in any of their lessons, it'll tell me where those concepts are at. So it's very helpful. So we're using the Saxon math. And then for him, for history, we had started out using something as a family. Um, we had started out using some different things as a family, but I quickly realized that for this year, doing a family history just was not gonna work. Um, my 13 year old needed to be independent and, and, and then now my 15 year old did as well. So we went ahead and we bought the Mindful Hearts, A Light in the Dark. Uh, this is a wonderful course. It has history, it has um, some writing in it and it has gospel studies in it, but um, it's for World War I and World War II, and I just am, we are just loving this. Um, we've been able to watch a few videos, a documentaries, and one of the first, the first week that wanted us to watch Sergeant York. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it is just a wonderful World War II movie. In fact, I think it was in 2008, um, the United States Library of Congress wanted to save that movie because they did such a good job um, capturing World War II and the struggles that people go through, went through at that time um, when they were deciding to fight. So really wonderful study. It is an LDS, a Latter-day Saint curriculum, and you really need to be a Latter-day Saint in order to use this. So if you are Protestant or Catholic or something, I really don't recommend you use this because it links to our church's um, scriptures and things like that. So it's really not good for somebody who is not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. However, if you are, it is a wonderful study and we have absolutely been loving it. So next up, my son is taking Chemistry 101 Science. Sorry for the glare. <laughs> um, and 
we're, I love this. My oldest used this and it has what it is, is it comes with DVDs or you can get the streaming uh, for this. And the videos are very well done. You can tell they're a little older, but they're very well done and they're, they're highly engaging. Even my, even my youngest uh, son enjoys watching these videos. They're very well done. This is a Christian curriculum. Um, if you get the DVDs, it comes with four discs. Sorry, this one's still on the computer. It comes with four discs and the fourth disc has your course book in it, this. And inside of this, it gives you um, kind of what you're supposed to do each day, or it gives you a lesson progression and you, and you follow it. Um, it is not the most laid out. However, we have found it very easy to use. Um, so my oldest is taking a college chemistry class and he said that this prepared him very well in to take that class. So um, I would say this is really good for somebody who isn't really that interested in science, and but you still want them to have some basics of it. This is really good. If you have a kid who wants to go into pre-med or something, this might not be the best curriculum for them. However, we have just truly enjoyed this. It's, it's nicely paced, the videos are interesting, um, the experiments are easy to do. The, usually it's just things you have around the home. Occasionally there'll be things that you'll need to, to buy, but it hasn't been too overwhelming to get. So we love it. You could easily just have your kid watch the video and do a report on it instead of doing the course book if you prefer. I did go ahead and buy this chemistry kit to go with it. It does not recommend it in, in, in the course book, so it won't tell you when to use it but I felt like this would be a good science lab for them to do and it comes with 125 experiments and it has basically everything you need. There's a few household items that you would need to get like maybe flour or something, uh, but on the whole, it has everything that you need in the kit. So that is what he's doing for history. He's also using um, Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool. He's using their li their um, literature and composition course. Um, I. We have always used The Good and the Beautiful, and I love The Good and the Beautiful. You guys know my channel should be called Chantel Loves The Good and the Beautiful because most of our stuff is from them. However, this year for this particular son, it just wasn't working for what he needed. So we looked around at some things and I was looking at Easy Peasy and I, I've used it in the past. And we really have enjoyed their courses. I feel like they're well done. I feel like that they are very um, well-rounded. So I had my son look at it and he said that he would really like to use it. I like that it incorporates some online learning tools like games and things. So it's a little easier um, for them to get interested in it. But it has um, books like Tom Sawyer, Shakespeare, um, poetry, and then he has to write his vocabulary definitions and things. So this is his folder that he keeps his history stuff in. So he's doing that. And then he's also doing some electives. One of his electives is our church's seminary program that he goes to in the morning. Um, that's a religious uh, elective. And then he's also doing cross country with our public school um, after school sports. He does that. And then he has his own elective that he likes to work on his dirt bike. So we're using that as a mechanic elective. So those are some things that, those are what, things that he's interested in that I'm trying to tailor his high school to. So that is in a nutshell what my 10th grader is using. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that look. Any more questions about what we're using, feel free to comment and and ask me and I'll do my best to answer it. Or maybe if you enough people ask questions about it, I'll do a more um, in-depth video of it. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I'll be sharing my other kids and what they are using here um, probably within the next week. I'm gonna try to release a video a week of my other three children and what they're using. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.